And if you love each other, then that's how people are going to know that you're mine. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Look around, children, where we at. We got preachers who can't even be in the same church with each other. Amen. They build their faction and pull theirs over here. They, they get their group and they pull them over here. There you got the division in the house of God. And we'll gather out and wonder why the Holy Ghost can't move. Oh, now we say the Lord won't move through sin. We're looking at the women cutting their hair and, you know, with men long hair. We're looking at all these other things. Sometimes it's the hidden things of the heart. Right. Much of the time, it's not these things on the outside. Right. It's these little things on the inside right. that nobody but God can see. Right. Brother, let me tell you something. There's a God up there that right. sees everything. Right. The light shone out in darkness. Yes. The darkness comprehended it not. Amen. Come on. This light came and it was made manifest of the men. The man didn't want that. Why? Because they loved darkness rather than light. You know why men love darkness? Because when you come out in the light, that light reveals everything about you. But if you stay back in the dark, you can hide all these little feelings. You can try to hide all these little factions, all these little sins. But when you come out in the light, and this is the flashlight that will shine on me. When you come out in the light, it will reveal the very thought and the intent of your heart. Come on. Come on. And I'm just here to tell us tonight we can love each other more. We get to love each other more. You get to see more of the Lord moving. Praise the Lord. I don't like to hear people talk about people in the church. If it's this church or the church down the road or wherever, I, I, I've i got better things to do with my life. My days are numbered. And I've got to work. I've got to run for my life. I don't have time. i got to work. And let me tell you something, child. Just because you ain't the one talking, if you're sitting there listening, you're just as guilty as the one talking. Hey, man. Well, I don't gossip, preacher. If you listen to it, you might as well go ahead and take up with it. Amen. Amen. You be made partakers of other men's evil deeds. Right on. Amen. Amen. Lord, help us, God. When you asked the other night, they were talking about how they would love to get in a, get one more good, good old time meeting where the Lord just had His way. Amen. Children, if God's people would do what I'm preaching tonight, we can have more than just one more. Yeah. That's right. We can have a lot more. But if we spend our week not praying, not seeking the Lord, we're in everybody's business but our own. Hey, Amen. We come out to church and you can't look at one in the eye because you killed them all week. You can't shake their hand. You murdered that brother. You killed that sister. We walk with your mouth, with your lips, with your tongue. You might not have grabbed them by your hands, by the throat. But if you're out talking about them, you're killing that man. If they're doing wrong, they're already in trouble with the Lord. At the end of the road, rest assured, every sin will be brought out. If there's something wrong with this man, I promise you, if I don't get it took care of, it'll be there on judgment day. But in the meantime, you're so worried about this man. You're failing to look at that man, that woman. He's going to give you another commandment. Won't you love one another? Won't you love one another? I want you to love each other now. That's how people are going to know you belong to me. We claim the highest standard in the land. Where's our mercy? Where's our compassion? Where's our patience? These sleeves, is, that's a good way to dress. It's called holiness. I just won't get my feet off the ground. Amen. It's got to be in my heart. I've got to have my name in the book. And if there's one sin on my soul, if there's one blot on my record, this man will turn me away. 
We claim the highest standard that there is. You let somebody make a mistake and, and don't think you're above it. Right. If you think you're above it, you've already made one and don't realize it. Right. How people make a mistake? Yes. And they'll go and they'll repent. Yes. They'll go back to the river and get baptized. Yes. They will stand in the house of God and ask the people to forgive them. Yes. And we still got people that want to remind them and throw that up to them every time they see it. Right. If you do not forgive your brother his trespasses against you, neither will your father forgive you. The one up there in heaven forgive you your trespasses. If I don't forgive you, God won't forgive me. If I don't love you, I don't even belong to the Lord in hell. If you got the love of God, you belong to God. If you don't have the love of God, you left God somewhere. Amen. Jason, I wish you'd preach, bro. That's what I got. Come on, buddy. Amen. We're supposed to love one another. Something bad happened at church. It's all over everywhere. Amen. You let something good happen. You let a good meeting come to church, and people go three or four days and say, well, "I didn't even know you was in me." And somebody get bit, he'll beat you to the house. Amen. Come on. It'll be all over the web. Amen. How would you want somebody to treat your child? Come on, buddy. Yeah, if you're a normal minded person, you'd want somebody to be good in your children. Unless they say something wrong with you, you would want you want me to be good to your child. Amen. Now, now while they're little, they're in your lap, they're under your feet. Enjoy that because when they get older, that same one that is in your lap tonight might be like that one that's out there in the gutter that don't even know their mind, their name. Right. They might make some choices in their life that they ought not make. No matter how much you talk to them and tell them, all you can do is raise them the right way, tell them the right way, show them that. But somewhere they're going to make a bad choice. Now when they make that choice and mess up, who do you want to be standing there in the pulpit when they come into church house? What kind of man do you want to preach to yours? If you want that one, that will tell them, come to Jesus. You can make it. You can make it. You can pray. God can fix this. You would want that man that's got mercy to show mercy on your child. Why don't you show mercy on somebody else's child? Why don't you love them? Why don't you love them? Lord, help us God. How far have we gotten from the foundation? How far have we got from it? I, I love good meetings. I love a good song. I love the shout. I love the rhyme, whatever God. I love that. But children, when all is said and done, if I don't have the love of God, everything I've done is in vain. If it don't have charity with it, it'll profit me. Not. If I would give my body to be burned, in other words, if I would die, but I don't have the love of God, it won't profit me nothing. This is how people are going to know that you're mine. Because you love one another. You know where the devil's got our people? My church, your church. Ain't no church like my church. Shame on you. It ain't your church anyway, it's his. Come on, I don't want to be a part of your church. I want to be a member of his church. Your church ain't coming off the ground. His church is going up. God has got people. Come on, He's got people. They might not look like you. 
again. They might not know what you know. Come on. But if they have been born again right. and they've got the love of God, love. they belong to Him. Right. Glory, glory. Where are we at, children? Well, now this is the church you need to go to. Yeah. If you ain't a member of this one, you ain't got nothing. Come on, brother Jesus. If you ain't a member of this one, you don't have anything. Amen. 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 I go out of here and I bad mouth you. I don't love you. I don't. Amen. Amen. Oh, help me, Lamb of God. Glory, glory, glory. Children, can we love one another more? If I was to load up and I was to drive from here to California to see somebody, just go see them. And I come back and I go through all that just so I can say I went and saw them. I wasted my time. I'd have been better off going to my altar, going to my closet in secret, getting down in secret and asking the Lord to touch me. Then to go and do something just to say I did it. The love of God won't let you do that. Right? Charity doesn't seek its own. Amen. It doesn't vaunt itself. It doesn't boast about itself. It doesn't glory to God. It doesn't puff up. Thank God. You match your finger and puff up. Come on, Come on, Lord. Bump your head hard enough, it'll puff up on you. It'll swell up. It'll stand up. It'll rise up. There'll be something rise up. Turn that thing rises up. Leave it alone. You get in a spot, you feel that begin to come your feet up and want to come out your mouth. Just hold real tight. Don't say that. But that that comes from God comes work. Every good gift and every perfect gift comes from work. It comes from the book. That that comes from God will come down on you. It'll come down on you. It'll humble you. As it goes and you're weak, you'll cry. You have a love in your soul. It'll come down and it'll turn. It'll go in a deep place you don't even realize you've got. But it'll get down in there and it'll begin to turn and come back out. And when it comes back out, it'll come back out with love. Come on, come on. That will come from your feet. That'll rise up in you and your face turn color. <coughs> that is of the flesh. Right. If you do something in that, it's going to tell them what will happen. Amen. Just a simple message, I know. But we need that. We are all in this same ship together. Do you really believe you're the only one that the devil presses? You think you're the only... The devil's... I, I've even said it. It feels like the devil's moving in my house. He ain't just at my house. Everybody that's trying to pray. Everybody that's trying to live. Everyone that wants to make it. Is going to have a fight with the devil. And sometimes we get suppressed. We forget. We forget. Well, why ain't you doing like you're supposed to do? What's wrong with you? Maybe. Maybe they need help. Might not necessarily mean they've got out sin and done something. They might just need help. Sometimes, why ain't you been to church? What's wrong with you? Sometimes they've been sick. Sometimes they didn't have money to get here. Come on, brother. That's right. These things that happen, children. Don't the love of God let me do? I look around here tonight, and you know, there's some that's not here, and I miss them. Amen. And you know, I. I say, Lord, whatever it is, you help them. You move for them and help them. Because you don't know. I promise you one thing, though. You'll get in a point in your life, you wish somebody would pray that way for you. You know who's going to have mercy? You know who's going to receive mercy? Do you want mercy? I'm not home yet. I want some mercy between here and there. When I stand before Him, I want mercy. 
But you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to have mercy. I'm going to have to have mercy. We want it, but are we willing to give it? I don't mean to be going on as long as I am. I have to talk to you while I've got you here. Do you know that you're going to be tried? I, I thought, and I may tell this again sometime, but I'm telling you now. I thought here lately, Jason, I've been begging the Lord, please give me something greater to help your people. Amen. Just like a child would beg for a favorite toy that it can't get. Come on, brother Jason. Beg the Lord, please, Lord, <coughs> give me a greater anointing than what I've got. Give me more. And you know what's happened? Trouble, trouble, trouble. trouble. <coughs> Almost to the point that you can't, as we say, you can't get a breath. No. Trouble, trouble, trouble. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep right on praying, Lord. You give me that to help with people. I'm not the only one in trouble, Gail. If we took a poll tonight, there'd be a lot of hands going up those that's in trouble. Those that needs help. But you know how you can help one another? Now I come back sometimes and I know, you know, I think Wayne Force said it than I am calling Jennifer out to sing. But there's a reason we do that. It's not to to pick on her or embarrass her. We love her. We love what she's got. Right. And and we know, I know from experience that the more that she does, <coughs> the more the Lord's going to help her. Right. And I know the more that you do, the more God will help you. Amen. That's why I come back and I say, girls, get up there in the front. We'll, we'll sing the work. That's why I look at Jason. I know he's come a long way. And sometimes you get in a meeting like this, you know, and there be ones that's not there and they end up start talking. But that's why I say, if you got it, bring it. Come around. Why? Because I know the more that he does that, the stronger he'll get. Uh -huh. The better you'll be able to fight in him. Yeah. Cheer, we need to be there. We need to love one another. Yeah. Why do I stay on these girls? Because I love them. Yeah. I want them to make it. Yeah. You can't make it not working. You can't make it not doing your job. That's why I stay on you. Because I love you. But he said, I want you to love one another even as I have loved you. And went even further than this. See, Mike, where you go nowadays about everybody you run into claims to be a Christian. They can look like something out of Lauren and Bailey and still claim to be a Christian. But he said, this is how you're going to know that you're mine. Because you love me. It ain't the enemy having to kill me and you. Uh -uh. We ain't careful. We're, we're doing it ourselves. We're killing each other. Yeah. We're turning on one another. Be careful the bridges you burn. Because you're going to get yourself out on an island and burn your last bridge. And you're going to be in a place where can't nobody help you. Because you've lost confidence in everybody that you know. I don't care who it is. No matter how great they preach, how much they prophesy, you take the Holy Ghost. You have Him withdraw Himself. We're all just flesh. You just let the Lord just step back just a little bit. I don't care. You name it. You put the name up there. In their self, they will fall. They will fail you so much. But we need to have mercy on one another. We need to have mercy on one another. We ought not be in a place that our people are afraid to move out in church. They're afraid to try to preach because somebody might say so. They're afraid to testify, afraid to sing. We ought to be in a place, if, as the saying is, if they couldn't carry a tune in a bucket. If they do it for the Lord, we ought to get behind one another, lift each other up, and say, Sing, brother, sing. Amen. Glory to God. Run, sister, run. Children, the Lord is coming. If I leave my older children at the house, I have to go somewhere. If, and I come home, and I find out that they've been fighting with one another, judgment day is coming to the kindred's house. Because it does not please Daddy to know they've been fighting with one another. What do you think the Lord is going to do if He comes back 
And he finds that we've been fighting with one another while he was young. Judgment day is going to come to the house of God. It's going to begin at the house of God. The Lord did not leave this for us to be lords over his heritage. This is God's house. This is God's people. His sheep. His flesh and blood. He wants us to love one another. Be good to one another. Come back and find me beating my fellow servants. What's he going to do? You know, I'll tell you what he'll do. He'll look at that big angel and say, bind him hand and foot. I want you to tie him up and throw him out. Get rid of him. You know who built this? The Lord did. The Lord built this vineyard. He's lent it out to the husband. We're to tend it. We're to take care of it. We're to bring forth fruit in season. We ain't careful. We're going to cut down all the vines, children. Yeah, come on, you can prune a tree too much. Yeah. You can cut too much off at one time and kill that plant. Yeah. Whereas if you just have patience and trim a little as is needed, yeah. it'll begin to grow and be strong. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. We need to love one another. We need to be good to one another. I've got those that ain't been in this long. We've got some that come that ain't been in this long. Some maybe ain't been long enough for their hair to grow out. Now that I'm going to tell you, they said I may be in long enough for the color to go back to normal. Come on. You know what? I, I don't want nobody to get up just because they see that person like that no. and get up and begin to beat that no. sheep. No. Glory to God. <laughs> Sometimes we'll look with our eyes. We won't look with our heart. We won't look through the eyes of love. Glory to God. I remember sister one time years ago was shouting and getting in. Her hair was short. Preacher began to get up and began to throw off on her. What a shame that she was. And the pastor stood up and began to tell him. said, this sister's had chemo. She's had cancer and chemo's caused her hair to fall out. That's a wig that she's wearing. The Holy Ghost don't miss it, children. Right. If that man had had enough to love like he did to, he might have got to shout with her. Right. 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 Glory to God. Right. But we look at that person and we don't consider the situation. Right. We look at that one and we render judgment right there and there without even understanding where that man has walked this week. Right. Without even knowing where that sister has been. You know what the Lord said? That's what He was saying about judging. He wasn't saying let them sin and go on. He was saying whatever you measure out is going to be measured back to you. If somebody's doing their best and you tell them they can't make it, it's going to be measured back to you. If somebody is trying and you beat that person down, it's going to be measured back to you. Whatever you render, you're going to receive. I need more love. A simple, simple message. Pray for me. Maybe you're where you want to be with God. I hope, I hope you are. Because if you are, help me pray. Help me pray. I need more charity. I want that. You remember years ago, some of you, the prophet would get up and walk across the floor, and people would weep. Not because the prophet was tearing somebody up, but that love of God was so great. Even though they wasn't speaking to you, you would sit there and weep for joy and love in your heart. When they open up the book and preach it with such a love, it would make you want to do it. Even if it was, as we say, up one side, down the other. It was with such a love, you'd want to go home right then and start. And do that 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 man was preaching to you. We need more love. I love the good Lord. Glad of all of you.